Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an 808 like kick drum with the sub bass without actually having an 808. So, first things first, what you want to do is drag in a sample, a kick sample that you like. For example, I've already got mine set up here, but you can go to your media browser and go to your list here and just choose one that you like and you can go ahead and drag that in. But that's a snare. So, Anyways, what you want to do is once you have your kick, make a simple arrangement and once you play it back, you'll probably have something like that. Right? Just super simple. It's nothing too special. And we're actually yet still missing that sub bass that comes in like the 808 does. Now, if you want to have that sound, what you got to do is go ahead, create a new channel. So there you go. Choose software instrument create that channel and you'll get something come up over here now what you want to do is go to your input output on your mixer on that specific channel and choose test oscillator so there you have it that's your test oscillator oh make sure you mute this channel by the way you're gonna get a really annoying tone so you want to mute that then bring it down to about 70 or 80 Hertz and you can play around with that. This is just for the sake of this tutorial. And that's going to be your sub bass. So what you want to do now, once you have that tone, is go to your inserts on that same channel on your insert strip and choose a noise gate in your dynamics. So go to dynamics and noise gate, choose stereo, and this will come up. So once you have this come up, what you want to do is sidechain the sub bass to the kick so it opens a gate for the sub bass to come in every time the kick comes in so you go ahead to sidechain and select your kick whatever you've set up and the parameters on here should go something like this I've already got one loaded up so I'll bring up the parameters for that one and you guys just can copy what's on the left side here to the right side and this will be this will be your new channel. So go ahead. You can pause the video and uh, copy all those parameters to make them look like 27 attack, 30 330 milliseconds for hold, and 509 appro approximately milliseconds for release. Hysteresis about negative two and a half. Reduction negative 61 and threshold negative 52. So there you have it. And once you have that set up, I'm going to go ahead and do it to this channel. So if you want to hear back right now with the new channel that we have, that's this one, and the parameters are here, it's going to sound like this. You can hear that we have some sub bass, but it doesn't have that long long release and decay so what you want to do is actually copy those parameters just like that and have it to right about somewhere over here you can play around to have it sound whatever you want it to be but this is what I chose and I found that it sounded pretty good so we'll go make this 27 26 27 there we go and it'll sound something like we'll keep that at negative 100 and negative 50 it doesn't play too much of a role in what in this tutorial it's more for your overall mix that you're gonna have to play with these now let's play that back sounds good now if you watch me play with this frequency knob here on your test oscillator you can hear how it changes the note or the pitch So there you go, in a few easy steps you've made your own 808. Don't forget to add a compressor to that and EQ the hell out of your kick and your sub. So when it comes to EQing, just a basic tip, you want to boost a little bit of the 1000 Hz in your kick. If you want a little bit of a thump, you want to boost the 200s, around the 200s, and just 
uh, reduce a little bit in the and below the hundreds because that's where your sub is coming in so with that said go to your sub and you can just boost the low ends on that about about 5 to 6 dB and cut out the 200s so that it gives it some room for the kick to breathe and there you go that's how you make a basic 808 kick make sure to subscribe for more tutorials and go to www.vicomsounds.com for free samples and more tutorials thanks for watching guys